So here at Inside Bikes we like to bring you all the latest bike reviews, but this time we're going to bring you something a bit different. We're looking at a helmet. It's the new Foresight MK1S. It's different because it's a smart helmet. Now wearable technology is all the rage right now. Things like Apple Watches, Fitbits, wearable technology is one of the great buzzwords. But this is the first time I can recall it being adopted by motorcyclists. So we thought we'd have a look at it. We've been wearing it for the last couple of months and this is what we think about it. So at its most basic level, it is a crash helmet. At the end of the day, the job it's designed to do is to protect your head in the event of an accident. Now Foresight is a new brand in the helmet world, but they've decided to go quite smartly, I think, with some established designers. So the guys who've designed the shell are partly the guys who work with AGV, and it's made by an established helmet manufacturer. So the quality is okay, it's a carbon fiber helmet. The shell has been made out of carbon fiber, which normally very high end. Now it's got the electronics are packed into the front of it in the chin bar, so the carbon fiber helps keep the weight down. They claim a weight of 1500 grams, and actually that's really bang on the money in terms of touring helmet. Now I've normally been wearing a Shoei X Spirit, and it's about 80 grams lighter than that. Um, a lot of our eyes, about 1600 grams. So in terms of weight, it's absolutely on the money. And to wear it, it feels just like a regular helmet, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel anything different at all. Where the magic is, is inside. Because it's not just a helmet, it's kind of like almost like a four-in-one product. So the Foresight costs £929. Now that does seem like a lot of money. I'm not going to argue it is a lot of money for a crash helmet. But what you're getting here is a four-in-one product. You're obviously getting a carbon fibre shell, which isn't cheap, but you're also getting integrated comms, an action camera, and a quite snatty sort of integrated satellite navigation system. The helmet itself is very conventional to wear. You could be wearing any helmet. It feels to me a bit like an old HJC that I used to have, quite firmly padded. The sizing, a little bit out from where I'm used to with Shoei. This is actually a large, normally I would be a, a, a medium. The only sort of downside I felt was at the chin bar where all the electronics are packed. So it rubs against my chin a little bit if I'm jutting my chin out or sort of um, having a bit of a talk to myself when I'm riding. Not really an issue for me, but obviously we've all got different shapes and sized heads, so you may find that that's a bit of a, a downside. One thing to mention is that Foresight sell directly, so they sell it through mail order through their website. Now that means you're not gonna have a chance to try it on before you buy, which is a bit of a downside, I, I agree. But they do offer a, a free exchange system. So if you get the helmet and you don't really like it or it's not the right size, they'll, they'll, they'll sort you out. So one of the things that I was quite excited about is it's got an integrated camera in it. It's in the chin bar. Now I know you can mount GoPros and stuff in, in the chin bar, but if you do track days, it's not really an option. It's kind of more like a dash cam type of setup. So it constantly rolls. You don't have to go in and clear the card. It basically, it just wipes over the oldest content on it. Like everything on the helmet, it's controlled through the app, which you put on your phone. There's no adjustability on it. It shoots at 1080 at 60 frames per second. So it's not quite up there in terms of the level of the latest action cameras, which can shoot about 4K. And the stabilization isn't really at the level of, of those sort of more dedicated action cameras. I think it offers a nice security for people if you are involved in an incident and you need to prove blame, then it's a good feature. And also because it's in the chin bar and not fixed to your bike, you can actually see where you're pointing while you're riding. And I found it quite nice actually to look and reflect on my riding. Sometimes when you're out on the bike, you might go, did I do that overtake correctly? Or was my line great? And it's nice just to go back and reflect on your riding, look at it after download and, and look at it after you finish your riding. If you're into vlogging, well, yeah, the quality is not quite at the level of, um, of, of the latest GoPros and the likes. We'll put a little bit of onboard footage in the video so you can see. We also did a bit of commentary and it does pick up your voice when you're, when you're commenting on your riding. So nice feature um, and I like it. As well as a camera, you've got an integrated comm system. That in itself isn't that innovative. I've worn other helmets that have got integrated comm systems. And all I would say about it, it's very unobtrusive. It works really well. They've used speakers from a company called Hard & Carmen, who are a established high-end audio company. Really good sound. You can make phone calls on the go. You can listen to music. Not something I tend to do. Tried it out. 
and it works absolutely fine. I like it for listening to SatNav as, as I go along. And talking to SatNav, it has its own inbuilt system, which is probably one of the nattiest things about it. You'll notice on the chin bar, there's a little raise section, it's got an array of LED lights. You use the app, you put your destination in as you would with any sat nav, and it directs you through a series of lights. So you've got green lights, left and right, to indicate when you've got a left turn and a right turn. It's quite a good system. I found that the, the app stopped working a couple of times, and personally, I still prefer Google Maps, but it's a personal choice. The more you use it, the more you get used to it. It just appears in your peripheral vision. And there's also other indicators for hazards, such as speed cameras, roadworks, delays, which come up as red. It's a good system. In itself, for me, it's probably the one I, the feature I like the least, but still, it's, it's respectable. It's always hard to judge a helmet. I think a helmet is a very personal thing. Everyone's got different shapes and sizes of heads. For me, I got on quite well with it as a helmet, but you may find differently. The vents and so on, they're okay. You know, the, the visor mechanism doesn't feel like the, it feels more mid-range necessarily than premium. It's quite good. It's got an inbuilt visor, which is, works really well. It's got a pin lock system comes with it. You can order smoked visors if you want. It's got a nice system for locking the visor in place if you're riding faster and you want that security. Comes with a little controller, which goes on your handlebar. Probably would prefer not to have a controller like that. I would have thought it would be voice activated, but it's not. And you've got buttons on there for activating phone calls, the camera, and also the, the navigation system. So this, the helmet and your phone all have to be activated before you ride and that allows you to start the camera, stop the camera, also wipe the camera, adjust the volume. It's a bit like if you're used to communication systems, the one you get on the side of your helmet. You place it on your handlebar, it's probably easier to operate there than it is on the side of your helmet where you can't really see it. So that comes with it as well. It charges through a port at the front. Unfortunately, the charger that comes with it isn't a UK plug, but you can still use pretty much any usual USB charger. Comes with an SD card. You can view the, 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 the film of that. So overall, I'm really grateful to have had the chance to try the Foresight out. I was really intrigued when I saw it at a press presentation in the summer. And while I'm probably more a bit of an old school analog guy, I really appreciate that a lot of motorcyclists will enjoy the technology that comes in this. We're used to wearable technology. When we go out in our cars, they're packed with these sort of features. And actually for a lot of riders, I can see them really getting excited about this sort of technology in the years to come. I think we've had a real glimpse into what the future motorcycle helmets would be. If you want to read more about it, we've got a full review on our website. See the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching.